up YouTubers, it's me again, Brian, aka Gamer55551, and I am back with a special video though for today, um, and I'm pretty sure most of you are aware well, well, though, we are about a week away from the official Switch, Nintendo Switch presentation though, where hopefully and finally um, we will finally get all the information about the Switch since it was announced, since it was revealed in the announcement back in October, and hopefully we'll see if it puts some of these rumors to rest once and for all. And so, as we gear up towards it though, um, the rumors are starting to fly out there of exactly what's going to be, what's going to be at the presentation, what is in the Switch, and all that stuff though. So. I decided to take a look at some of these rumors and I decided to, for this video, I'm going to give my thoughts on what I think Nintendo will show at the Nintendo Switch presentation and what they might say though. Now before we begin, keep in mind that I want to keep a couple of things. These are my opinions and my opinions alone. I don't have insiders inf insider knowledge or anything like that, I don't have, I don't have someone I know from inside telling me that this is what's going to happen or they heard this and that, you know, much like how other YouTubers, other people have, you know, like Laura Kate Dale and so on. So I am going to give my opinion of what I believe they might, what I believe they will probably show at the Switch presentation next week. So keep in mind, these are my opinion and my opinion alone. So. Uh, we'll start with the first one, though. Um, the first one, I do want to point out that I do believe that The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, I believe, will be a launch title for the Nintendo Switch. Um, as far as regarding Europe's concern, though, while it might, while there is that possibility it might be delayed, my take is that they'll probably release it in Europe around the same time that Japan and North America gets it, though. And I think they will probably update it. They'll probably release a patch or an update it for different languages, though. Because I highly, I think, in my opinion, I think Nintendo wants to get the Switch off the off on the right foot, though, when the system does launch, though. So I do think Zelda Breath of the Wild will be a launch title and it will be released in all the territories, though. Um, the next one I do want to point out is I believe that as far as portable mode goes, as far as portable mode, Unless there's something in the Switch that we don't know about, and unless there is evidence that points to some of these rumors that it could be 1080p on portable, though, I'm going to go out on a limb and take a guess and say that when the Switch is in portable mode, it will most likely be in 720p. So I'm I'm looking at it as that's that's the resolution on the on the Switch screen once it's in portable mode. I think it will be 720p though. Again. Could be wrong on that, but that's where I'm leaning towards, though. Uh, the third one I would like to say is that I do believe that we will see GameCube games on on the um, Nintendo Switch. Um, there is on the eShop, though, or if the rumors are changing it to Game Store or something like that. Um, I think most likely Super Mario Sunshine and Smash Brothers Melee might be. Those titles they might release first for the GameCube games on the Switch, though. Um, Eternal Darkness could happen, though. Um, I don't know, although it is possible they could remake it or they could just, just release the version that it is, though. I believe, and again, all these GameCube games, I believe, will most likely be downloadable, though. Again, I could be wrong, but that's what I think it's going to be, though, and that's just my take from it, though. Um, the next one I do want to talk about is that I do believe we will, I do believe that the Mario Rabbit crossover RPG does exist. I think we will see it though. And I believe, although I could be wrong, and if the rumors are true that the title's done, I believe it will be most likely a launch title though. Again, they could delay it though. They could release it, you know, for the holidays though, but I'm leaning towards, I think it could be a launch title as well. Um... And number five, though, um, I do believe we will hear more about what Retro is probably working on, though, on what game they are working on for the Switch, though. I don't think it's going to be a Donkey Kong Country game, though. They probably will do one down the road, but I don't think that's going to be their first Switch game, though. Um, I do think that it is possible a new Metroid game could be something they could be working on, though. But I won't rule out the possibility that they could be working on a new IP 
or they could be updating a, an existing IP that Mar that Nintendo has had for a long time that they never touched or anything like that. So, so overall, I do think we will hear what Retro is working working on. At least that's how I'm looking at it, though. But I don't. We, it's unclear what exactly they are working on, though. All right. Okay, so this is for the first top five, though. I'm going to take a little break. When we get back, I'll finish off the rest of the list. So we'll take a little, take a little break, and we will be right back. back with part two of our video though i hope you I hope you guys enjoyed point part one though um for part as of course for the second part of video i'm going to go through six through eleven on what i think will be shown at the presentation for the nintendo switch next week though now as i said earlier keep in mind these are just my opinion my opinion alone I could be wrong on this on so many levels. I could be completely wrong. So I do want to point out I'm not treating this as facts. I'm not treating it as I know what's going on or what's the inside information all. I'm just giving you what my take from it though, all right? With that said, why don't we get started with number six though, okay? So the six, my number six on what I think might be shown at the Switch presentation is obviously though, they will show off the new Mario title. That's that I think I believe that they will do that though. And while they will announce it though, um, it is possible it could be a launch title and they can have it ready for launch though. But I wouldn't rule out the possibility of them pushing it back to maybe the holiday season though, or doing it like what they did with the Wii though, uh, where Breath of the where Twilight Princess. I almost said Breath of the Wild. Twilight Princess was the launch title for the Nintendo Wii, and then several months later, Super Mario Galaxy comes out. So I wouldn't be surprised if they do this kind of situation though, where the Mario game is released several months down the road and Breath of the Wild becomes the launch title though. Again, I could be wrong, and Mario could be, the new Mario game could be a launch title though, but I wouldn't rule that out though, all right? Um, the next one I will say is that I do believe we will get Wii U ports of games onto the Switch though. Um, I do think Xenoblade Chronicle X probably will be one of those. Um, Bayonetta 2 I think they probably will port over to the Switch though. Not 100% sure about Wonderful 101 but that's a possibility though. I do think that the rumors about Rayman Legend being ported over, I think that poss possibility could be true. Although, if it is, it, it kind of would be a bit of a hard sell considering that you could pick up a copy of it on, you know, PS Vita, PS4, or Xbox One for like about $14 though. But who knows? I mean, it would. I'm not against it coming to the Switch though, but I think it, I will say it could be a bit of a hard sell though. So I do think we'll see some ports of several Wii U games. Perhaps give it another chance though, all right? Um, I assume a lot of these will be basically like fill, fill in the gaps, you know, address some of the drought issues while they bring out the new games though. I think Xenoblade Chronicle X probably will be that because there are rumors that Monolith Software will show off their new game though. Don't know if it's another Xenoblade game or not though, but who knows, but still, I do think we will see some ports though, some ports of some Wii U games though. Um, the next one is that I do believe that, number eight though, I do believe that Skyrim, I do believe that will be a launch title though. Um, again, I could be wrong on that one, but I do think that Bethesda will launch a Switch version of Skyrim. I think a lot of it will see how well it works. Maybe if the game does well enough, Bethesda could support the Switch down the road with other games though. Um, maybe, maybe not, but I do believe though that we will see Skyrim as a launch title for the Nintendo Switch. Again, could be wrong, but I look at it though. Um, the next one, and this one's been back and forth of exactly what is powering the Nintendo Switch though, but it, lately there's been discussion whether it's the Tiagra chip, pardon me if I'm saying it wrong, or the Maxwell though. 
Um, and again, I could be completely wrong on this, but based on a lot of the stories that have been coming out though, and a recent comment on a PC magazine, although it could be a typo though, I do believe that the Switch most likely will be powered by the Pascal chip though. Um, again, like I said, could be wrong on that one, but it, it, it could be the Pascal chip chip that could be the so-called custom chip nvidia is providing the power of the nintendo switch though but we'll have to wait and see though and number 10 i will say that i do believe that the switch um i do believe the pre-orders for the switch will happen on january 13th um this is based i will say this is based on some people who i know at gamestop you know who i'm also good friends with though um while it's not 100% certain that it, while there's no 100% confirmation, I think that mo more than likely January 13th will be the pre-order date though. Um, for those who are not yet sure about pre-ordering the Nintendo Switch though, um, I will say you may have to make a decision probably before next week if you're going to get the Switch or not. While I'm not encouraging you to go out and pre-order the Switch, that's your decision though, I will say that if the rumors are true, if this rumor is true that there are about going to be like what 2 million Nintendo Switches available for pre order or available at launch, though, then we could kind of see a situation like we saw with the PS2, 3, and 4, uh, the Wii, um, the Amiibo, and NES Mini situation where it's going to be hard to find one. It might be a while until a new shipment comes in, and that we could see a situation where people are selling it at the most outrageous prices on you know, eBay or sellers from Amazon or anything like that. So if you're on the fence about pre-ordering the Switch though, I will say you may have to try to make a decision before January 13th. So you may have to take that into consideration. Again, not saying you have to go out and pre-order a Switch, but it is something to take into consideration before you make an official decision though. Assuming the rumors about the, um, rumors about only having 2 million units available at launch are true or not. We'll have to wait and see about that one, but you may have to take that into consideration though, alright? And finally, last but certainly not least though, I will say that I do believe that the Treehouse event that was announced for North America that will happen on the day after the Switch presentation, while it is possible they could surprise us with something like something at the presentation. Nintendo is known to surprise us with some with something unexpected though. Uh, to me, I feel like the event will be mostly be a follow-up or a recap of what happened in the January 12th presentation though. Again, it could be it could surprise us, but that's how I'm looking at it though. Alright, anyway, I do like to say these are my thoughts about the what I think are going to be shown at the Switch presentation. And again, I know I'm being the dead horse saying this though. I could be wrong on all this. I could be completely way off, but that this is based on what I think is going to be shown at the Switch presentation though. Uh, before I end this video, I want to talk about two things that I want to bring up that I'm planning to do for my channel going forward in 2017. Um, the first one I want to point out though that basically um, when I do video reviews lately in the past I've combined gameplay footage with my reviews though um, going forward I'm thinking about shortening it a bit though in instead of combining the two instead I'm gonna have one video with the review and another video with the gameplay footage of the game though so instead of combining it to make one long video I'm going to sort of like separate the two so like when I do a video review I'll have a link in the description of where you can see gameplay footage of the game that I reviewed though. So I'm thinking about going with that for with that. And the second thing I do want to point out is while nothing confirmed just yet though, I do want to point out that I'm exploring the possibility. Again, I'm not saying anything official of the idea of fan funding though. Now I do want to stress something very clear though. I am not going I have no plans to make a it, it plans to make this channel a subscription base whatsoever though okay i don't think i even qualify for that yet though and two even if for some reason you guys out there choose not to fund my channel i'll still do videos though okay 
Um, the reason why I'm thinking about this is that recently there was a comment in one of my in one of my videos when someone wants to donate to my channel, though. So I am considering having that option available if you want to donate to my channel, though. If you don't, that's fine. That's fine, though. All right. But again, nothing's final yet. I still got to. I still haven't decided yet, though. And of course. I welcome your feedback on that, whether you're okay with that or not, though. So I always welcome your feedback on it, though. Um, anyway, this concludes my video on what I think the what is going to be shown at the Nintendo presentation next week for the Nintendo Switch. And again, these are my opinions. What are yours? Um, do you think I'm spot on about some of these stuff? Do you think I'm off about some of this stuff? All right. In other words, am I right? Am I wrong? Do you have a different take of what you think is going to be shown at the Nintendo Switch presentation, though? Um, as always, sound off on the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Um, I always hope you hit the like button. I would appreciate that. And I hope you do subscribe to my YouTube channel, though. Anyway, this concludes this video, though. Um, it's evening in Southern California, though. And I will see you again next time when I do another video. Hopefully, that will be soon. Until then, from Southern California, wish you all a good evening, though. Bye.